And we start this hour in Ukraine, where a Russian missile attack on a hospital in the city of Dnipro has killed at least three people and injured 25. Well, this video, posted on social media by the regional governor and verified by the BBC, shows severe damage at the clinic, with firefighters battling to put out a blaze that's engulfing the three-storey building. The governor says two children are among those injured. Writing on Telegram in response to the attack on a medical facility, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky says Russian terrorists once again confirm their status of fighters against everything humane and honest. Well, the strike on Dnipro came during another night of Russian missile and drone attacks. Ukraine says most of them were shot down. An oil depot outside Kharkiv caught fire after being hit twice. Russia's intensified such attacks, mainly on infrastructure, ahead of an expected Ukrainian counteroffensive. Well, our Ukraine correspondent told us from Dnipro that efforts continue there to put out the flames. So the scene at the moment, I don't know whether you can hear fire crews trying to chop down trees to get access with the mounted hose. This is a building that was a medical centre. It was an extension of the main hospital and it's been completely hollowed out through the force of the impact and subsequent burning. I don't know whether you can see in the foreground to the right of the screen, that was a uh, veterinary centre which has also been hit in the blast. Nearby there's a football stadium where there are signs of the impact as well. Now people here are reporting an initial explosion followed by the air raid siren which suggests it was a ballistic missile which are typically much more difficult to both detect and intercept with air defence systems. So it suggests that this was a ballistic missile, but this is a continuation of Russia's current strategy. Wide scale drone and missile attacks across Ukraine and the outcomes are typically indiscriminate. We know that two people are still being searched for under the rubble. Three people are known to have died so far and several more are being treated in hospital. The devastation is clear and we expect more uh, answers to unfold in the coming hours. Uh, that's James Waterhouse there with the latest on that uh, round of artillery fire and attacks, particularly there on that medical facility. Uh, we should also say as well, Russia has been saying it has been subject to attacks uh, in Russia itself. The governor of the southern region, that's Belgorod, said that Ukrainian military was responsible for what they say were dozens of artillery, mortar and drone attacks across the territory. They say that's uh, incursions into uh, their Russian territory. Uh, they say there are no reported casualties, but point to the fact that drones, mortars and artillery uh, in a village there were struck, they say, more than 130 times. Now, there's been no independent verification of those claims, but it gives you a sense uh, of claim and counterclaim on both sides, particularly, of course, given the scenes that we've seen there uh, related to the attack on Dnipro. So uh, we'll get the very latest on that and give you a sense of what is happening on the ground right now ahead of that much touted summer offensive, that fight back, that Ukrainian counter-offensive uh, that we are expecting to get underway any time now. Uh, more